Hello guys, let's start with the new topic today. We'll talk about the linkage and the crossing over. This is the our today's topic. It is a very important topic which is re related with the genetics. Let's what happened like uh, if you see the the last third rule of the Mendel's that is the rule of uh, independent assortment. And uh, in the dihybrid cross, Mendel has got uh, nine. Nine is to three is to three is to one ratio. Just imagine if the linkage would have been happened there. So he never have got this the same ratio. So what is the role of the linkage? Linkage is the tendency of the genes to come together. In another way, if the linkage is going to happen, independent assortment is not going to happen. These two things will not work together. That means the parental combination is going to be much more uh, prominent over the new character which is found. For example, if you start with a, a seed which is having the round and yellow, round in shape and yellow in color, if it is crossed with a double recessive homozygous condition, a seed which is wrinkled and uh, green in color, so you're going to get the ratio 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1, where 9 is going to be uh, round and uh, yellow, and 1 is going to be wrinkled and green, and rest of the, the 6, they're going to be recombinant. They have been you know, round with green or wrinkled with the yellow combination. But if the linkage is going to happen, this is not going to happen. Let's talk about the basics, then we'll go into the other part as well. So what is the link gene? I just told you that they have a tendency to close, I mean, come together during the gamete formation, they will not be segregated. They will, whenever the crossing over occur during the meiosis one, they will not get segregated because they're closely situated. That means the locus of the two genes is going to be very close and always in the cis uh, conditions. Okay. Then whenever the linkage happen, I told you like it is in the cis condition, that means the genes should be present on the same chromosome and that too will be very close. Look at these two genes shown over here, A and B. So during the crossover as well, these two genes, they have a tendency to come together. This is what we call the linkage. So distance is directly proportional to the recombination and indirectly proportional to the linkage. More is the distance there'll be less is the linkage. If the genes are very close, linkage is going to be more. Just you see this, what happened during the meiosis. Let's say the, we have the homologous chromosome, which is non cistrous They will just undergo the crossing over. This crossover may be single cross, maybe more. We'll talk about it later, later on. So this is what happened, you know, during the meiosis one or the prophase one where this process occur. And then you can see the arms exchange are going to happen. You can see these are the recombinant. There'll be two kinds of linkage. One is a complete linkage. This will happen when the genes are very closely associated or very closely located. They will have a complete linkage. An incomplete linkage when the, the distance between the two genes are little more they are going to be incomplete linkages. This could vary from the 1% to the 50%. Why recombination cannot be more than 50%? The simple reason is that out of the four strands, only the two strands or the two homologous chromosomes, they are going to exchange their arms. So it can never be more than 50%. And it could happen between the autosomal chromosome as well as the sex chromosome invariably. And just I'll take one, you know, uh, that we have got it from the NCLT book. See that this is the yellow and white. And basically, let me just, you know, put in the way uh, the Batson and the Punnett, they got together this linkage process in the plant. And they were working on the Lathyrus odoratus, that is a sweet pea plant. Whereas in the animal, the T.H. Morgan and 
Hedges to and Stuart and all. They got uh, this linkage process discovered and they explained it very nicely. Let's talk about a cross shown over here. We have got it from the NCLT book for the 12. Here you can see the two chromosomes. Like, you know, if you just see the male and female shown over here, this is the female, which is showing the two X and here the XY shown over here. This is the yellow and white and Y plus and W plus, which is a wild type plus shows here the wild type gene. Now, in the F1, if the cross occurs, so what is going to be the case? Here we get a wild type because one of the X chromosome here in the female is going to dominate. And uh, here we get the yellow and white because these two genes of the eye color and the body color, may, it is not located on the Y chromosome. This blue shows the Y color. Similarly, we see the white in miniature. Same thing, we have the wild type, which is shown in the blue over here, light blue, sand color. Whereas the same cross is going to happen over here as well. Now, what they have uh, observed in the case of gametes, basically they got 98.7% in the case of uh, uh, yellow body and you know the eye color, body color and the eye color. Let's not take the name. So here, what they have observed, the parental is going to be 98.7%, which is highly unlikely unless the linkage is going to happen. And the recombinant were just 1.3%. Similarly, in the miniature and, you know, the white eye case, what you see, the 62.8% is going to be parental and just the 37.2% is going to be recombinant. And F2 is shown here at the bottom. Fine. So what exactly the Batson and the Morgan, one uh, group was working on the plant, another group was working on the animal. What they come across is that the basic reason behind is that uh, the independent assortment is due to the segregation, but the segregation is stopped one way or the other that will lead to the linkage. So this is due to the crossing over and the genes which are closely associated, they do not get segregated otherwise. And this happens in the meiosis one. The three processes which could lead to the genetic variation is the independent orientation of the chromosomes in the meiosis, crossing over of the chromosome in the meiosis, and the random fertilization. Okay. And the recombination and crossover, especially the crossover where the physical arm um, between the non sister chromatids. They are going to be exchanged, and as a result, the recombination is going to happen. Where, like, if you see the, it may happen one time, maybe the more than one, maybe two, maybe three. So you can just see over here one, re, you know, recombination shown over here. Just look at. You can see we have the pair white where we have seen the small a and small b. This is the cis arrangement. This is also the cis arrangement, and the when in the gamete formation, the crossing over occur, look at over here. This is going to be the parental ABC. This is AB in capital. So this is going to be recombinant. Again, you see this part. This is going to be recombinant. And this again is going to be the parental. Same thing you can see here in this diagram as well. Now, what happened if the single crossover occur? So only in one chromatid of the each chromosome is involved in the single crossover, only one point cross is going to happen. Crossing over rather, single crossover is very much frequent than the two or the three. And how you can calculate the recombination frequency, that is the number of the recombinant progeny divided by the total number of the progeny and multiply with this with the 100. So you get recombination frequency in the percentage. That also shows the distance between the two genes that we represent in the centimorgan. Okay. Similarly, the uh, double crossover, there will be two uh, chiasmata. The chiasmata may be between the, the same chromatid or the different chromatids. Two or three or one of the four chromatids of the homologous pair are involved in the process of the double crossover. You can just look at over here. So if you just look at over here, what does it mean? 
the chromatid if you see over here they are going to you know make the chiasma the number of the chiasma more than one then there will be multiple crossover similarly the number of the chiasma that is going to vary and the significance is that more is the crossover and there will be more variation that is going to come across and uh, this can be used in the chromosome mapping both the especially the genetic mapping and the genetic distance, just now I told you, that is represented by the centimorgan. 1% crossing over means the 1 centimorgan distance, which is approximately 1000 kb of the base. And as we, uh, we use this formula, we can find out the distance between the genes and uh, we can also find out their location. So in that way, it is going to play a very, very important role. And then the other advanced technique, which finds like how exactly to localize particular gene, that technique we call the fish present in situ hybridization, where we use the probes and wherever the probe goes, which is a single standard DNA, may be radio label, may not be radio label, because nowadays the radio label probes are little lesser. So the radio label is going to be not used. So non radio label is going to be used, which is going to give you the color, especially the tag with the fluoro fluorochrome dyes and in the influence of the UV radiation, they give you the color. Another way is the chromosome painting, the same way as the FSS, where the chromosome is going to show you the different color, which is very, very important for the cytogenetic studies. When the chromosome, uh, they bind with the specific probes, which are tagged with the different fluorochrome dyes, having the different color, they are called as, you know, paints. And this is how the chromosome painting can be done. So this is all about uh, today's lecture. One thing that we have noticed is that linkage is going to happen when the two genes are very um, close enough. And uh, if the genes are not linked, there'll be recombination. So again, more is the recombination, less is the linkage. More is the linkage, the less is the recombination. Another way we can say more is the linkage, less is the distance, more is the recombination, more is the distance between the two genes. Hopefully you understood this topic and you enjoyed the lecture. That's all about this lecture today. Do subscribe, watch, share it and press the bell, bell icon to get the notification. Thank you. Thank you very much.